What is linguistics and why do I have to bother about this field? Doesn't it suffice for me, as a future teacher of English, if I can speak English reasonably well? These are questions you may have asked before, but have they been answered yet? Well, this introductory class to linguistics will show you not only that linguistics is a fascinating discipline, but also that teaching a language without a profound linguistics background is virtually impossible. And this presentation provides you with an overview of our class. So welcome to my presentation of the Introduction to Linguistics class for future teachers of English. In particular, I will first look at the content of the class and its syllabus. We will then discuss the educational principles that are applied in our class and finally I will say something about the requirements that is the prerequisites you have to satisfy in order to get the class credits. Well let's look at the class description first. Our class is subdivided into three parts. The first part is dedicated to the core areas of linguistics from phonetics to pragmatics. However, it is special due to the fact that our teacher students also attend the phonetics, phonology and transcription class during the same term, we can keep the phonetics section relatively short. Furthermore, our teacher's degree program contains an obligatory class called Morphology and Syntax which focuses on present-day English. This class provides you with the details of morphology and syntax so that the introductory class can be relatively short here too. The second part of our class deals with what you might want to call the hybrid disciplines where linguistics combines with other scientific approaches, for example historical linguistics, psycholinguistics or sociolinguistics. The remaining two sessions look at the new media in linguistics and at the relevant of linguistics in the classroom. The whole class is organized in such a way that the online content serves as a prerequisite for our in-class meetings. In the in-class meetings we will practice using a wealth of exercise material. If you are a remote online student, model solutions and additional online help will be available instead. To realize this highly ambitious goal of e-teaching and e-learning, we need a special approach towards education. Let us look at this approach that flips the phases of content delivery and practicing. It is referred to as the inverted classroom model. Now here on this picture you see three people that are involved in this model. Um, that's Dan Spencer, Aaron Sams and myself and we met at a conference here in Marburg, the first German inverted classroom conference that was held here earlier this year. Alternative terms for this model are flipped classroom or flipped mastery education model. But how does this model work? Well, let's first of all look at traditional teaching. In traditional teaching, content delivery and content acquisition are realized in class, where several dozens of students have to gather at the same time to be entertained, or maybe not, by their teacher. In a second phase, students practice on their own on the basis of additional exercise material, homework tasks and so on and so forth. The inverted classroom flips or inverts these two activities. So let's do that. Content acquisition is now self-guided, takes place first and is done online. The additional in-class phase is dedicated to practicing rehearsing, discussion, analysis, etc. This means that 
prior to each in-class meeting you must have worked through the online content of the respective unit. Let us now look at these two phases of the inverted classroom model in detail. In phase one you are now the autonomous learner. You will be given the content by means of a so-called e-learning unit. This contains the content you have to go through prior to each in-class meeting. The content of an e-learning unit is multimodal. It involves all sorts of channels. In all our classes we supply you with highly interactive multimedia content, the so-called virtual sessions. In addition to this you can watch our e-lectures. These are never longer than 20 minutes and are closely connected with the virtual sessions. Furthermore we have our optional workbooks. They supply you with the text material of each unit but not with any other media. But they give you the opportunity to supplement the text with the online content. This combination of multimedia, video and text is unparalleled in the world of e-education. And what about the in-class phase? Well, the in-class phase is now no longer any sort of what you might want to call frontal teaching or lecturing. So this is clearly out. Instead, the central teaching method is that of a cooperative interaction between instructor and students. Apply to your introduction to linguistics class. This means practicing, analyzing and plenty of discussion. Finally, you want to know what you have to do in order to get the class credits. Well, first, of course, we want you to actively participate in our class. Then, we give you the opportunity to do several ungraded worksheets. One worksheet per e-learning unit. For your instructor, these are important hints whether you have understood the content of a unit prior to the in-class meeting or not. And on the basis of two graded worksheets and one final e-exam, you will eventually be given your class grade. Well, this class has been taught before and in our permanent class evaluations, our students have been very positive about it. I am absolutely sure that you will enjoy your introduction to linguistics class too.